My name is Guy Benisti from Surgical Science, and today we will actually show you some of our simulators, uh, starting with the Trauma VR, which is a brand new simulator that we are introducing here for the first time, where the users, first responders, the emergency doctors, can actually get a hands-on trial of upper airways intubation. We have field settings and hospital settings, and they can practice upper airway intubation. We can change, uh, check the patient's uh, vitals and respond accordingly if there are any additional problems other than the injuries that we're trying to treat. So the next simulator on the list is the Artro Mentor. This simulator is for orthopedic procedures and arthroscopy. This is the simulator itself. We basically have a knee, we have a shoulder on the other side. This is the shoulder module and then we have a hip. So the simulator allows the doctors to actually practice on a wide range of orthopedic procedures. We're using various instruments, we use a camera. They can actually go with a camera inside the patient and start looking for either the problems or just tasks like anatomical recognitions and things like that. So this is just an example of the knee and they can use instruments you know, to treat the problems, they can use cameras. That's the Artro Mentor. This is a robot, robotics mentor. This simulator mimics the Da Vinci uh, uh, robotic uh, surgery uh, surgeon. And basically this simulator allows the doctors to practice on the robotics uh, environment using very, very similar ergonomics to the real robot. What we see on the screen is one of our gynecological procedures for hysterectomy. So basically, just like in real life, the doctor can actually put his head inside the, the head mount, get, grab the pinchers, and basically now, you can actually do the procedure one step at a time. So you can actually see that I can operate everything virtually, and this will allow the doctors This will allow the doctors to actually do a full procedure, going one step at a time uh, on the robotics uh, uh, mentor environment. This simulator is our pelvic mentor. This simulator is the only simulator here which is a hybrid simulator. It's a combination of a physical mannequin and virtual reality. So basically, the, the, the users of the simulator can actually perform a pelvic examination. And with the pelvic examination, I use my finger sensors, and you can see the fingers on the, and they can actually do a pelvic examination. This is a blind procedure, so this is a very, very difficult skill to acquire because they cannot see what they are touching. They have to understand what they are touching, and this is something which is a very difficult skill to acquire. So they have to palpate, and once they feel that they have, that they identify something, they need to look for what's wrong with this. In this specific simulator, we actually use a wide range of uteruses, and these uteri will actually have various issues. This is an ovarian cyst. It can be a, a normal. This is a, a, a multiparous. So basically, the students, the, the faculty, or the, the instructors can actually change the uterus inside a mannequin, and the students will have to palpate and try to identify what the problem is uh, on that, uh, with that patient. This is our ultrasound, our, our US mentor simulator. Uh, which is basically divided into a diagnostic simulation and interventional simulation. On the diagnostic simulation, we have the male mannequin. The male mannequin will have a wide range of diagnostic procedures, which includes anything from EFAST, rash, lungs, neck, abdominal, TE, advanced, uh, advanced echo, and more. That actually allows doctors to actually practice on a very wide range um, of scanning protocols. This is our pediatric mannequin. This is a brand new development which we just introduced uh, last year. And basically, by using a probe, you can actually scan the patient and try to identify what the problems are using all the ultrasound modalities that we have to offer from nobology, measurements, uh, and most importantly, we expect the doctors to actually fill a clinical finding report, which will make sure that we understand uh, that the users know what the problems with the, with the patients. Where is the problem and what is the problem with that specific uh, uh, patient?
Okay. So they're using the probes, they practice real ultrasound. We use cardiac probe, we use an abdominal probe, we use a TE scope, which is right down there, so they can practice TE, which is a very, very difficult uh, um, skill to acquire. The female mannequin, uh, on the other hand, provides basic GYN, provides a first trimester, and then when we put a stomach, it's a second trimester uh, training module where they can actually practice identifying issues with fetuses. This side of the simulator is for interventional procedures, so basically this is um, image-guided or ultrasound-based interventional procedures. So by scanning, by scanning the patient with a probe, you can actually see and identify the relevant vessels. You can use various uh, uh, features like, uh, uh, like color Doppler, like automatic labeling, and different modalities like M mode, PW, CW, etc. And basically what we expect them in this case is to identify where you need to go and actually puncture using a small needle. And this is the needle that we're using. And there are supposed, in this specific case, this is a brand new case or brand new uh, uh, procedure for nerve blocking, neck ner nerve block. So using the small needle and using the ultrasound, they need to identify the proper location and actually intubate the patient.